Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org, back with another video for the new Boston. Now in this video, we're going to be looking at checking whether a file exists before we actually create it on our server. Now, why would we want to do this in a real life application? Well, let's say you had um, a file upload uh, form and you were allowing users to upload specific files and maybe storing them in an area that they can be viewed for either public or, or your own personal use. So you may be asking users to upload, for example, CVs, or you may be asking them to upload images that contribute to part of a website. So you're going to have have specific location or locations that you're going to store images in. However, if you're generating random, say, numbers for the uh, for the image file names, they could still uh, match. However random you create a number to be, there's always the possibility that it could match. So, for example, what we could do is create a uh, file name um, on upload. So if you haven't already looked at uploads, go back and uh, have a look at that before you probably focus on this tutorial. Um, because uh, you know you need to understand how we uh, m use the move uploaded file function to uh, rename our file once we've moved it from a temporary location. Your file name might be rand um, number between say a thousand and nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, uh, and then you might have the md five hash of the original file name. So the file name might be called. Um, image.jpg so md5 hash file name let's say or for original um, and then like let's say you might have another random number between a thousand and nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine so uh, the md5 hash is basically cre going to create a 32 uh, character hash from this um, here so let's go ahead and echo out the file name and see what result we get first of all. Okay, so this is the um, random file name that we may have generated uh, to save on our on our um, on our server. So let's say the user, um, the first user, uploads an image called image.jpg. Um, everything's fine; the image is stored. However, what happens if, say, a thousand users later? someone else uploads an image called image.jpg and this random number here and this random number here happen to equal the same as what's already been stored here and what's already been stored here so there's a way we can deal with this and we need to use the um, file exists function so we can check whether a file exists before we perform an action so let's go and have a look at this function itself. So uh, the function is called file underscore exists. This is how we call the function. And the parameter that we give is the file name itself. So for example, I could say file exists uh, file.txt um, or image.jpg, etc, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is in this example, I'm going to check whether a specific file exists, and if not, I'm going to create a text file. So uh, we're not quite uploading uh, images or documents at the moment, but you can apply this example to your own uh, uh, own web application. So let's go ahead and say if file exists, and we need to specify a file name in here, we'll do that a bit later, then what we're going to do is not create the file. So in here, we're not going to create the file. Otherwise, we're going to create a file. So the file is going to be called file.txt. So what we need to do is we need to say if file exists, file name, echo, file already exists. Now what's going to happen is this file exists function is going to return a true value if the file already exists and it's going to return a false value if the file does not exist. So if the uh, if this is returned true it means that this file.txt is already present in our directory here in this file hand handling directory but we can obviously specify um, different directories so you may have a dir uh, forward slash file for example the folder might be called dir so you can use directories within this file exists function as well so if the file does exist if this returns true we're going to echo to the user file already exists otherwise we're going to say um, handle equals f open and if you haven't already looked at file handling uh, have a look at this before you uh, try to understand this code then we want to f open file name for writing we want to f write to handle 
and I'm, I'm just going to write nothing inside for example and then we want to close uh, this file uh, by its handle so what we've essentially done is we've checked this file file.txt exists so if it does already exist we're just going to say to the user file already, already exists so we're just going to give them a, a, an error message otherwise we're going to open up a file and um, this is uh, saved in the um, variable handle and then we're going to write uh, just the value of nothing to the file so we're just writing this text into the file and we're right opening using the right so uh, this doesn't matter too much uh, within this example um, however if you've already looked at creating files and writing data to files this should make sense to you so what we're going to do uh, for this example is we are going to um, click on file.php and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and see if the file has been created then we're going to go back into file.php and we should receive a message saying the file already exists because what file.php is doing is creating this file for us let's go ahead and click on file.php so we've got blank so we can assume in this example that the um, or in this um, when we've run this page that the file has been created let's go back and refresh you can see that we've now got file.txt and we've written the value of nothing to this now when we enter file.php for the second time what we're now doing is we're checking if the file already exists so if file.txt already exists so now we can see if this function is properly working so uh, well, we already know that it's working because we've run the second block of the if statement but let's go and check it anyway so it says file already exists so this is the file exists function in PHP, really useful like I said when you're um, handling file uploads and you want to check if a file name already exists uh, just to ensure that you don't overwrite.